Curious what papaya is due to a diabetic's blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Sampurn. I have been living with type 2 diabetes for the past 9 years. With strict diet control and exercise, I have been working my way towards remission. And yes, it is possible if we truly understand how different foods affect our blood sugar. On this channel, I test the impact of everyday foods on my own blood sugar so you don't have to. My goal is to help you make smarter, healthier and more informed food choices. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss my real life diabetic food test every week. Before we start, make sure to watch this video till the end because after showing you the result, I'll also explain the science behind it. That way, the next time you eat papaya, you'll know exactly what to expect and how to act accordingly. All right, let's dive in. Today, I'm testing half of a medium sized papaya, about 362 grams, first thing in the morning. Now, many of you have asked why I always test on an empty stomach. Here's why. When I tested it other times of the day, the results weren't solely because of the food. They were also influenced by what I had eaten before or after, or by how active I had been. Testing first thing in the morning ensures that the results we see are purely because of that specific food without any extra interferences. Hope that makes sense. Now let's get started. Here's what this much papaya packs inside. Roughly 156 calories, the majority of which comes from carbs. 91%. To break it down, it contains about 39 grams of carbohydrates, 28 grams of sugar, just 2 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber, and 1 gram of fat. In addition, it also contains smaller quantities of calcium, iron and potassium. And finally, the glycemic index of papaya is around 60, which is considered to be the medium range. Cool. Let's see how my blood sugar reacts to it. I'll be tracking this with my continuous glucose monitor, which gives me minute by minute readings. Right before eating, my blood sugar is at 100 mg per deciliter. A pretty normal start. Papayas are a very common breakfast choices in many countries across the globe. Many sources recommend consuming papaya in the morning, especially on an empty stomach, to maximize its health benefits such as aiding digestion, boosting the immune system, promoting skin health, and even supporting weight management. The question for us is, is it diabetic friendly? We'll find out soon. All right, it's been about a couple of hours since I had the papaya. And now, the moment of truth. Is it a go or a no-go? And before we see the result, let's take a look at our classification of blood sugar spike. As per this chart, I consider spikes under 40 points as safe, between 40 and 60 alarming, and anything above 60 as dangerous. So let's see where do we land today. And here it is, my blood sugar level rose from 100 mg to 128 mg, a small spike of 28 points. It peaked at 1 hour mark as usual and then fell back to regular numbers within the 2 hours window. So needless to say, this spike was safe. And I would say it's a go for me. But what works for me not necessarily will work for you. So please consult your doctor first. So what happened here? Even though papaya has comparatively higher carb and sugar content, it turned out to be not so bad. Here are a few reasons that may have contributed to this. Number one, medium glycemic index. Papaya falls in the medium GI range, meaning the sugars are released into bloodstream at a much slower pace than high GI fruits like grapes or bananas. This prevents sharp, sudden spikes. Number two, high fiber content. Fiber slows down carbohydrate digestion and absorption. The six grams of fiber in my serving created a buffer that helped flatten the spike. Third, natural sugar profile. Papaya contains a higher ratio of fructose compared to glucose. And now fructose has a lower immediate impact on blood glucose since it metabolizes by the liver before entering the bloodstream. Number four, moderate carb load. Even though the portion I tested had nearly 39 grams of carb, the combination of fiber plus water content plus slower glucose release meant my body could handle the load more evenly. And last, number five, papaya is rich in antioxidants. Papaya is loaded with antioxidants like vitamin C and carotenoids that may improve insulin sensitivity and reduce oxidative stress, making my body slightly more efficient in using insulin for glucose uptake. This was my test. Please comment and let me know how does papaya impact your blood sugar. Remember, we have to fight this together. And if you found this test helpful, please give this video a like, share it with someone who would benefit. And don't forget to subscribe for more real-life diabetic food tests every week.
Until next time, stay healthy, stay mindful and take care of your sugar levels.